age on Earth, when something comes in from space, it causes something like this, an impact structure. This is Goss's Bluff, 143 million years old. Wolf Creek Crater, only 120,000 years old, so pretty new. Now, in New South Wales, we have a beautiful town called Gilgandra. Awesome spot, great server, and I think it's got a secret. I think it's got a big secret. Not that it has the biggest dust storms in Australia that you can see from space. There's that awesome servo I talk about. Great sandwiches. Just outside of town, to the north, in the El Kroger Forest, there is a magnetic anomaly that's very cratery in shape. I think we have a big impact crater hiding underneath this sedimentary rock. Let's get into it. You know what I'm going to say. If you dig the vibe, like and subscribe, and let's, let's rock. rock. Well, folks, that's the Pilliga Forest, and there's the Warren Bungles going under us now. It looks a bit small from up here. We're at 300 kilometres up, the height of one of Electric Jesus's Starlink satellites. And we're just going to drop off from orbit, which is just not possible, but hey, this is AI. We can do anything. Little town of Gilgandra down there in the bend of the river. Gorgeous place. That green bit in the middle is the uh, Yelalgrim Forest, and of course... This is where I think this impact crater is. Now, can you see a circular shape in the landscape there? Because I can. Now, maybe I've looked at it too much. You could say that. So when these impact craters come in, they melt a whole pile of rock in a very small area and in a very specific shape. That rock, when it melts, takes on the magnetic signature of the uh, Earth at the time, and then it freezes. And then whatever happens to it, this particular case, I think it's been covered by sediment. Now, it needs to be more than 18 million years ago because the sediment over the top of it comes from the uh, Warren Bungles, and that's 18 million years old. So we know it has to be older than that. I think it's quite an ancient one. So as you can see, here's a few farm dams there, but that shape is, there's a circular shape there. If you look at the lay of the land and the, not just the way the farmers have done their paddocks. Let's drop down and see, it's fairly featureless country. This is very flat country because it's mainly uh, alluvium or falluvium, which has all been uh, put down there by the rivers that have eroded the Warren Bungles down over the years. And uh, it's just, look at that shape. There's a circular thing there. I reckon, yeah, I could be imagining it, um, but it's my hypothesis anyway. I spotted this when I was doing the Warren Bungles video, and I thought, this is an anomaly, and I can't find it in any literature. There's that beautiful town of uh, Gilgandra. It's a cool town. It really is. But you just look, there is a circular shape there. I'm convinced of it. Anyway, I don't need to be convinced of it. We're going to look at the magnetics. We're going to have a look at radiometry, and we're going to have a look at gravity maps. So let's get into it. Well, folks, here we have the surface geology of this area. I'll just put the new highway on there for some orientation. Gilgandra's just down there in the corner. So we'll go from the oldest to the newest. Now, the oldest rocks on this map are these little green areas here. These are the uh, Gilawara volcanics. This is dolerite, so this is basalt that is actually solidified under the ground. This is quite old. This is 200 million years old. It's the oldest thing on this map. Next to that, we have these large green areas. This is the Pilliga sandstone. This stuff's about 160 million years old. This is the same stuff way up in um, Narrabri that they're doing all that coal mining and CSG mining through. So it's way down here. Now, the next oldest stuff is this brown gear over here, which is the, um, 
the same, uh, this is the lava flow, you'll see more of this a little further down, uh, coming all the way down from the Warren Bungles. It's the same rock, about 18 million years old. Everything else you see on this map, all of these lovely colours over here, are basically gravels that have washed down from the Warren Bungles over all this time. Now, the Yelkogran Forest, which is right in the middle of the map there, next to the Newell Highway, which is where our feature is, this, all these gravels here are only a couple of million years old. They're not old at all. And I suspect this feature is much, much older underneath all of this gravel. So let's have a look at the magnetics that show us what I'm talking about. Well, Geonodes, before we dig into this thing, let's have a look at Goss's Bluff. This thing is about 145 million years old. It's in central Australia. It's about 160 k's from Alice Springs, due west. And here it is here. This is a fairly decent structure. They say it was a comet or an asteroid. That looks like an asteroid to me. Comets are dirty snowballs. That hit hard. And this is a fairly substantial structure. Even after all that time, you can still see it. This is from an adjacent ridge. Now, I'll show you the magnetic signature of this because you'll see more of this in a minute. We'll get there. So this thing exists. There's the magnetic signature. This is a complex crater. So, of course, when it hit, it rebounded in the middle. And, of course, it's now been eroded back to about here. And we see what we see. These complex craters are not uncommon. Here they are here from around the solar system. And I'll zoom in on one of these because it's very similar. These are on Pluto. And they're in ice. So these things happen all over the place. Okay, folks, this is the Gilgandra structure. I think you can see it. I don't need to put a ring around it. Now, in my mind, so I can see another ring around this about 20 or 30 k's out. But anyway, that could be imagined. This is total magnetic intensity. This is the same measurement, but done a little a little kinder. They've actually lifted it up to give it a three-dimensional effect, depending on the intensity. Looks cratery to me. I doubt if this could be volcanics. This is the same measurement again, but this time they rotate the pole slightly. It gives you an idea of the structure, but it keeps coming up. It's the same structure. And uh, this does not look volcanic. This looks impact cratery. And uh, this is another, this is all magnetics at the moment. But we'll look at some other measurements which will verify this in a different medium. So looks structurey to me. Well, folks, this map shows us the gravity in this area. Now, gravity maps are measured in milligals, which is about a ten thousandth of what you would feel. Now, the dark bits are less gravity. The white bits are more gravity. So something in this area is slightly less gravitationally massive than it is around it, and it matches up with the magnetics. So... Here it is in a couple of other forms. It's the same measurement, but just presented differently. Uh, the way they actually uh, convert it, the different formulas they apply, and of course the colors they apply. But it all points to the same thing. There is also a gravimetric anomaly in this exact same place. So that's two different methods of measuring to confirm this structure exists. So I know this is not a pro heart painting. This is the radioisometric. So this is the isotopes, thorium, uranium, and potassium that can be detected in this area. Now, you can already see the potassium in the lava coming down from uh, the Warren Bungles, but what we see here is nothing. Although, with my mind's eye, can I see a rebound structure in the middle of that? Uh, I don't know. Very interesting. Not volcanic -y, is it? So here's the potassium, just the potassium. As you can see, that lava from the Warren Bungles is loaded with potassium. There's a huge lava stream that came right down. That's about 60 k's. It's amazing. But what you can see mainly in this map is uh, how loaded volcanics are when it comes to radioisotopes. And the one thing you'll notice here is nothing. 
where we think this particular impact structure is, there is nothing. So I doubt if this is volcanic. But keeping in mind, it's got a shitload of sediment sitting on top of it. But really, you'd think there'd be something. You really would. Well, folks, these complex craters are not that uncommon. This one is on Mars. And as you can see, it's got a rebound structure. This is Tycho. This is on the moon. This also has a rebound structure in the middle, not a lot of erosion on the moon. These are on Mars, two complex craters right next to each other. Some erosion goes on on Mars, but it's still pretty crisp. Who knows how old these are? The next one's a bit tricky. I'm going to ask you to think what you think it is before I tell you. There you go. Well, that's actually a micrometeorite impact on the windscreen of the space shuttle. Hmm. Nasty, eh? So here's our Gilgandra impact structure, according to AI. I apologise for using AI, but look, I couldn't ignore this. There's too much evidence. I think someone of a uh, scientific bent with the resources to drill this and find out what the hell's going on down there needs to go and have a look at it. These things need to be recorded. I think it's important because the other problem is that petroleum gathers in these structures as they bend and they warp the crust. That uh, Gosses Bluff crater has got three ex uh, exploratory petroleum wells in the center of those mountains. Obviously there's no production wells there so they didn't find anything but hey they were looking. Those boys don't waste their time. Uh, there's seismic lines if you look in those maps there's seismic lines all over that place where they've just gone and run uh, their uh, explosions to work out what's underneath. So anyway, that's that for this week. I enjoyed it. I hope you did. If you dig the vibe, like and subscribe. And uh, just before we go, I just want all you gro budding graphic artists out there to just don't worry. If you ask AI to draw you an asteroid exploding over an Australian plane, this is what it comes back with. So, you know, you're good. You still got a job. Don't worry about it. Uh, it was just so amusing. I had to show it to you. Anyway, if you dig the vibe, like and subscribe, and you know what I'm going to say. Keep, Keep rocking, rocking, because, because geology, geology rocks, rocks and T-Rox is, rocks is out. out. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.